what is up you guys welcome back to the channel now i know it's been a minute since i put a video out for you guys so i'm gonna put up this little review video just a real quick review video of something that i bought on amazon it was around 15 bucks this is not a paid promotion but i wanted to review this product because i feel like it's something that everybody can benefit from but before so this is what it is right here guys this is actually a front windshield umbrella for your cars and it helps block the sun out i'm gonna take it out of the car uh, I'm gonna take it out of the package and show you guys what it's all about here in just a second. But first I wanna show you guys how hot it gets inside my car. And the reason I bought this thing is because I feel like that my carbon fiber dash trim that I had on the car, I think that it, it failed because, I think that it failed because of how hot it gets in the car. So the car's been sitting here all day without that windshield thing in. I just put it up, or as you guys seen, I just opened up the door on it. We're gonna see how hot it is in here. But as you guys can see, it's 130 degrees in the car right now. Let's see what the dash says. All right, so the dash panel itself is reading 145. That's pretty freaking hot, and I think that's why the carbon fiber failed. I did buy some new carbon fiber that's gonna be in a future video here very soon, but I wanted to get this windshield umbrella and show you guys how big of a difference it's gonna be with that thing in the front window. And also, in case you guys are wondering, I went ahead and bought the same exact carbon fiber pieces so that I could do a review on them and see if that was the reason that they failed, is the heat. Now, because I want you guys to be able to have the cheaper modifications too if that's all you can afford like me sometimes So we're gonna do a second go at it. It's gonna be in the next video. So stay tuned uh, Look out for that. But right now I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod and we're gonna see exactly how good this uh, Front windshield umbrella here goes into that front window and then we'll have to let it sit overnight Of course and tomorrow which is only gonna be a few seconds for you guys But we'll do a review and see what the temperature is like after the umbrella has been sitting in there for a day So before we get started here guys I just want you to to pay attention here to the fact that this thing does come in a really nice leather case So you can store it away and protect it really good all the time um, It should I guess I already took it out of the case, but it will fit in most glove boxes It doesn't fit in the SUV that we have the Lincoln uh, MKC it won't fit in that glove box but as you can see, it fits in my Mustang mailbox, or <laughs> mailbox. It fits in my Mustang glove box just fine. Now, it also has this lovely Velcro strap to hold it up. And as you would imagine, the outside of it is covered in, oops, sorry, I'm holding it a little low there. But as you can imagine, this uh, outside of it has this uh, silver lining on it, which is what reflects the sun out of the car. So it also, like I said, is an umbrella. So it, it opens up just like an umbrella. You pull the handle down, extend it out right there. It's got the button. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it flat and then let it extend down so that you can push it past the dash and it keeps the sun the rear view mirror stays up behind it but then what you're going to do once you get it up in here if you can you work it up in these corners up here so it's up inside them pillars and then you flip your sun visors down just like that and it stays <laughs> pretty freaking cool um so i'm not gonna lie guys I actually already had this in the car for one day and it makes a huge difference. I can't wait to show you guys that footage. Um, I didn't record that, but I will record it tomorrow. Uh, so it, it makes a huge difference. You just stick around for a couple more seconds and you'll see. But as for now, this is what you get for a view inside the car. Like I said, it's just an umbrella that folds out backwards and you shove it up in there, up inside these little spots up in the window there. And it, it'll basically hold itself up there, honestly. You really don't even have to have the sun visors down, but it will leave a little bit of a gap. So I like to flip the sun visors and it holds it up there nice and tight like that. And man, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it works really, really well. And you know, nobody's gonna be in your car. So I sort of, sure it looks a little bit ghetto, maybe. Some people think it's ghetto, but it, it works amazing. I'm telling you guys, just give me a couple seconds here and I'll prove it to you. I'm also thinking that because of the angle of the back window, then I'm gonna probably buy a second one for the back windshield. They come in two different sizes. I think this one's 54 inches. The other one I believe is 57 inches. So make sure you uh, measure your window before you order the wrong one. You don't want to get one that's too small because then it might not keep all the sun out and you will. It would, I'm t <laughs> Just order it. Trust me. It makes a huge difference. As soon as you take that thing out of the window, you'll, you'll feel the heat instantly. It's, it's crazy. But like I said, I'm probably going to order one for the back windshield because when it gets later in the day like it is right now, the sun starts beaming in the back window there and it just heats the car right back up again. So let's go ahead and see how this thing works out. Alright you guys, so it's the next day here. The Mustang's been sitting out in the sun with that windshield cover in there. It's about 3.20 in the afternoon. We got 93 degrees on my phone. I didn't mention it in the video earlier, which would have been yesterday, but it's about the same temperature as it was yesterday. So I'm gonna pop the car open. We're gonna hit it with this temperature thing and we'll see how it's reading. I think it's gonna be a lot lower, 
But real quick guys, just one of the cool things about living in Kansas is check out those clouds. I don't know how many of you enjoy the, the sky like this as much as I do, but I think that looks amazing. But it also means that there's probably a storm coming this evening, which is really cool because we need it. We've got like a whole week of 90s coming up again. But yeah, I'm going to open up this door here. So as you guys can see, we're reading like 114, 113. It's kind of dropping down a little bit because we got the door open. Well, it actually went back up right there. Kind of, I'm well, I'm moving the laser around too. So it kind of depends on what it hits in here as to what the reading you're gonna get for your temperature. But you guys get the point. Earlier on in the video, I believe, if memory serves me right, it was reading like 140 or something like that. So, I mean, it's obvious that this thing does a pretty good job, not as good as you would expect. But like I was saying, I think a lot of that also has to do with the fact that I need to get that uh, shade for the rear window there too. Because as you guys can see, it's already shining in the back window pretty good, which probably affects this reading. So I bet if I had that back windshield blocked off just like this front window is with that shade, it would probably be under 100 degrees in this car. I'm almost sure it would. So I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, purchase here. Like I said, it was only 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, and also, as I mentioned before, this is not a paid promotion, but I will leave the link in the description below so that you guys can get you one of these as well because it is extremely easy to put up and take down. It just takes a couple seconds of your time. You just gotta get in the car, pull it down, wrap it up, throw it in the glove box, and you're on your way. Not a big deal at all, guys. It's totally worth it in my opinion. And like I said, keep your eyes peeled for the next video because I'm going to be redoing the carbon fiber there so we can review this and see if that saves it from peeling off like it did previously. Alrighty guys, so I just got out of the shower, sat down to edit this video for you guys so I can get it up on the channel. And I realized I haven't even recorded an outro for you guys. So, check this out. This is what it looks like with it in the car on the outside. See, like I said before, on the outside here you got that silver so it reflects the sun back off of it. And on the inside, you guys already seen what that looks like. But um, like I showed you, it works really, really well. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. It was short and sweet and to the point. I wanted to get you guys out some kind of content because it's been a minute and I just had a little bit of free time here. So I thought I'd throw something up for you guys to watch. Hope you all enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. Leave me your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And just like that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.